So you want to create mirrored and symmetrical patterns and artworks in Krita, but you don't know actually how to do it. If that's the case, you're on the right video because in today's video, we'll be discussing just that coming up. So here we have Krita 5 opened up. Well, it's still in alpha phase, but if you still want to download it, you can check out the link in the description. Uh, you can download it from the nightly build section of Krita's official website. But still, if you're using Krita 4.4 or 4.5, you're still good to go. So starting off with the more basic ones and moving towards the advanced option. These two icons at the top of your toolbar are the horizontal and the vertical mirrors. Which means if you press this icon, the first one, it will mirror all the drawings which you will be making vertically. And the other one obviously will make it horizontally. And finally, when you select both of these together, it will mirror the image on both the ways simultaneously. So yeah, that's pretty much it with your basic mirroring tool. Now let me move to much more complex and flexible options which you can use for creating your mirrored scenes or basically symmetrical patterns. For that, we will be using this multi brush tool, this icon with three brushes on it. So as soon as we click on it and move to the advanced tool options, we can see a ton of options and variables over here to manipulate and customize from. So the first option over here is the brush smoothness and type. By the way, I think I've already covered this in one of my previous videos where I talked about brush smoothing and settings, I guess. So if you want to check that video out, the older one, there will be a link in the description as well as there will be an I card somewhere over here. You can click it and you can watch it for better info on this one. Similarly, with the snap to assistance tool, it's basically your perspective grid and your perspective assistance tool, which this is referring to. So you can watch that video too. The link will be in the description. So the real reason we are not discussing these things, first of all, your brush smoothness as well as your assistance grid is because they're not relevant to the topic we're discussing right now. So if you want to check these videos out, I've already covered them in their separate videos. So just moving back to our multi brush type, the first option or the first type we have is the symmetry tool. As the name suggests itself, it basically allows you to make symmetrical shapes and patterns. If you press the move button, you can actually change the origin of the symmetry. Whereas the number inside this brush option indicates the number of symmetrical sections you want to have in your scene, which will be coming out of your origin. And the more of these you have in your scene, the more number of times uh, the line strokes you'll be making will be replicated in a symmetrical pattern. Now let's quickly go through the mirror type multi brush, which is basically just like the two mirrors we just discussed in the beginning of this video. However, it is much more flexible than that previous option. The reason behind that is you can actually manipulate and change the rotation of your horizontal as well as your vertical mirrors, which is obviously, as I said, much more flexible and easy to use. So coming to the translate multi brush, by the way, just ignore these lines over here. They will not affect your strokes when you will be using this brush. So what this brush basically does is it will paint a certain number of copies of your initial stroke, which you make from your cursor. As you can see over here, the number of copies you want to make of your stroke can be changed from this brush slider, whereas at what distance they will be formed can be manipulated from the radius slider. Now coming to a snowflake multi brush, which kind of feels just like a slower version of your symmetry tool. Personally speaking, I have no idea what is the use of this multi brush when you can perform the same functions much more faster with the symmetry tool. But yeah, if you want to use it, it's still there. Now finally coming to the last multi brush tool, which we'll be having a look at is the most fascinating one and can be used for creating the most amazing stuff you can imagine. And it's called the copy translate. This one is just like translate multi brush, which we discussed previously, but instead of strokes being very near to each other, you can make various origins for these brush strokes, basically the duplicated brush strokes. And you can also set where you want them to start from basically their origin. To set up the positions or the originating point of these duplicate strokes, first you have to toggle this option on by pressing the add button, which is just next to your sub brush option. And the next thing you have to do is you have to set up the origin points for your duplicated strokes. And you can just do it by pressing on the canvas. And after you're done with it, just simply press add again. And now you can start drawing your strokes and, and you can see the duplicate copies of your strokes being created at the points you actually made previously. So yeah, this is how you will be using the copy translate multi brush tool. So yeah, this is it for today's video as well as all of your mirror tools, which you can use for creating your digital artwork in Krita. By the way, before concluding this video, I just want to thank each and every single one of you who have been commenting on my videos recently. All of your comments have been very motivating to me and, uh, and also by the way, the session is not over yet. Try watching these videos and maybe you might end up learning something new. But still, if you don't do that, I'll see you guys next time. 
until then peace